Hey guys, in this next section I want to discuss how we can write quadratic equations in vertex form given certain information about uh, the parabola. So if you think back to our first unit when we did linear functions, I gave you certain information about a line and you had to write an equation. Uh, this is going to be similar except this is going to be dealing with parabolas and quadratics. So uh, today we're going to focus on how to write equations in vertex form and then the next video we'll look at how to write them in standard form. Uh, but in order to write something in vertex form, which if you remember is uh, this, y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k, you need to know three things. You need to know what is a, what is h, and what is k. So in each of these three examples we're going to look at, I'm going to give you different information about the parabolas, and we're going to uh, use that information to determine what a, h, and k are. Okay, so in, in example one here, uh, I'm giving you uh, the fact that the parabola has a vertex at 1, 2, and the parabola is also passing through the point to negative 5. So based on this information, we're going to list what we know of A, H, and K. Well, since I'm giving you the vertex, the vertex, if you're in vertex form, is always H, K. So really what I'm doing here is I'm giving you two out of these three values. I'm telling you that H is equal to 1, and I'm telling you that K is equal to 2. So the only thing we need to worry about is what is A? How do we find A? And so to do that, we are going to use our vertex form up here. So we have y equals A times the quantity h x minus h squared plus k. And we're going to plug into this form what we know. Okay, so we know again h is 1. So we're going to have a 1 here. We know our k value is 2. So I'm going to have a plus 2 over here. Okay, what I don't know is I don't know my a value. But I do know an x and a y value. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to plug in values for this x and the y. And where I'm going to get those from is from this random point that we're given here. We know that the point 2, negative 5 is on this parabola. So I'm going to take the x coordinate of this point 2 and plug it in right here for my x value. Then I'm going to take the y coordinate 5 and plug it in right here for my y value. So I have this equation, negative 5 equals a times the quantity 2 minus 1 squared plus 2. And now I just need to solve this equation for a. Okay, so we're going to do some uh, order of operations over here on the right side. So I'm going to simplify what's in parentheses. 2 minus 1 is 1. Squared is still 1. So we have a times 1 plus, a times 1 plus 2 equals negative 5. Okay, and then I can subtract 2 from both sides. And I get negative 7 equals, well, a times 1 is just a, so that means that a must be equal to negative 7. Okay, so this equation in vertex form, so now that I know that a is negative 7, and I already knew my h and my k values, 1 and 2, I can now write this equation back in vertex form. So my vertex form, I'm not going to use this negative 5 and this 2 when I write my final answer in vertex form. I'm going to revert back to y and x, but I'm going to fill in a, h, and k now that I know them. So it's going to be y equals negative 7 times the quantity x minus 1 squared plus 2. That is the equation of this parabola. This parabola has a vertex at 1, 2, and it also passes through the point to negative 5. Okay, we're going to look at another problem now. Uh, so before we get into this, uh, I'm going to tell you that if you know the vertex and another point, you always want to use vertex form to find a, just like we did in example one. You're going to use the coordinates of the vertex for h and k, and then you're going to use the coordinates of the other point for x and y. So that just summarizes what we did in example one there in a nice little box. Okay, h and k are the coordinates of the vertex, x and y are the coordinates of the other point I give you. So in this example here, I'm giving you basically the same information as in example one, except I'm giving it to you in graph form. Okay. Uh, so I am giving you uh, a graph, so you can identify the vertex of that graph pretty easily. It's going to be right down here at negative 3, negative 1. So we know our h value is negative 3, and our k value is negative 1. This graph is not going to directly tell you the a value, so we still need to find that. Uh, and in order to find that a value, I need to identify another point on this parabola, just like I gave you for the last problem. Uh, so you could pick a number of points on this parabola. I'm going to use this point right here, the point negative 2, 1. 
and I'm going to use that for my x and my y values. Okay, you could have also used this point here, negative 4, 1. Looks like it's also got a point up here at negative 1, 7, and then over here at negative 5, 7. So really, uh, besides the vertex, there's a number of possibilities when I give you a graph for that other point to use. Okay, so I'm going to take my vertex form now. y equals a times the quantity x minus h squared plus k. And I am going to plug in values for h, k, x, and y. And so again, my h, k, we already know is the vertex. So h is negative 3. That's going to make this a plus 3 here. And then a minus 1 over here for k. And then for my x and my y values, I'm using negative 2, 1. So it's going to be negative 2 right here and then a 1 right here. So solving this equation for a now, we have 1 equals a uh, negative 2 times plus 3 is 1 squared is still 1. So a times 1 minus 1. Then we'll add this one to both sides. And we get a equals 2. Okay, so this equation in vertex form is going to be y equals 2 times the quantity x plus 3 squared minus 1. Okay, and then the last example, uh, this time I'm asking you what the vertex form is and I'm giving you the equation in standard form. Okay, so when I'm giving you the equation in standard form, it's a little bit different than 1 and 2. Okay, in standard form, uh, you don't know directly what h is or what k is, but you do know what a is, because in standard form, if you remember, uh, a is always the leading coefficient on the x squared value, b is always the coefficient uh, on the linear term, and then c is always your constant. So in this case, a is negative 1. So I'm giving you a, but you don't know h and k, uh, but remember, h and k are just the coordinates of your vertex. And if I give you an equation in standard form, we have a formula for finding the vertex. So what we're going to do here is we're going to use our vertex formula, x equals negative b over 2a, in order to find our vertex. Okay, so if I use this formula, it's going to be x equals negative 4 over 2 times negative 1, which gives us negative 4 divided by negative 2, which is positive 2. That is going to be the x-coordinate of our vertex, which is also going to be our h-value. Okay, the x-coordinate of your vertex is always your h-value, so h, in this case, is really 2. Okay, so now I'm going to plug in, just like I do in regular standard form, I'm going to plug in this 2 to x up in this equation to find my y-value. That y-value is going to tell me what k is. So I've got this. I've got y equals... Uh, we've got 2 squared, and then we're going to take that times negative 1, plus 4 times 2 minus 5. So this becomes negative 4 plus 8 minus 5, which gives us negative 1. Okay, so that means that k, our y value of our vertex, is going to be negative 1. And so now we know our three values. We know that a is negative 1, so we're going to have y equals a negative, and then the quantity x minus 2 squared h was positive 2, okay, and then k is a negative 1, so minus 1. This is the uh, equation uh, of y equals negative x squared plus 4x minus 5 rewritten in vertex form. Okay, so to summarize uh, this last example here, if you know the standard form equation of a parabola, you're going to use your vertex formula, negative b over 2a, to find H and K. Okay, so if you have any questions over what we did in these three examples, feel free to jot those down. Make sure you ask me uh, next time you see me in class. Otherwise, have a nice day. You're all wonderful people. Take care.